हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस आवर लास्ट पोर्शन इन दिस चैप्टर दैट इज यूनिट फोर ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ हीट सो ट्रांसमिशन मींस हाउ द हीट विल ट्रांसमिट फ्रॉम वन एरिया टू अनदर एरिया फॉर दैट रीजन वी आर हैविंग थ्री वे ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन वन इज कंडक्शन एंड दैट इज कन्वेक्शन and the last one is radiation now i am going to discuss or going to explain about these three process because these are the main a main uh, main things to learn here in this unit so first i'll start conduction so here you can see that what is conduction conduction is the process of trans transmission of heat energy in solids without the actual movement of the particle from its position what does it mean the transmission of heat energy in solid only in solid how without the actual movement of the particle is of there from their position so how it happens so we have to investigation has given you see is a solid iron ruler through that flame giving heat here and it is fixing this way so what is given i just read out take a flat iron foot ruler on the foot ruler fix four brass drawing pins with the help of wax place the ruler on the table so what you will see that the ruler is not moving only when by heating the particle to particle is heated time to time so this is the way of heating a solid without the actual movement of the particle from its position it is called conduction it is called the process conduction heat travels through solids by conduction only okay so it's a process valid for conduction only for solids next we have good conductor of heat those substances which allow heat to pass through it easily is called good conductor mostly the metals and examples silver is the best good conductor of heat next is that copper aluminum gold iron and what are the bad conductors of heat the bad conductor which do not allow the heat to pass through flow uh, heat energy to flow through the their through them easily this is called bad conductor of heat or it is called also another name is insulator heat insulator mostly the non metallic substances glass mica ebonite cotton wool there are so many examples are given there are plastics wood bad conductor of heat now so this is the example okay next in our book given some practical applications of heat insulator how are they bad conductors help in con conserving energy in a system glass wool wool cotton felt slag wool asbestos enclosed air vacuum etc are commonly insulated material some of the examples are given some of the examples are given i just read some of them like we wear woolen clothes in winter because woolen yarn contains a large amount of trapped air since air is a bad conductor of heat it does not allow the body to heat the flow outwards as our body stops losing heat we feel warm one of the example and the example is given two thin blankets are warmer than a thick woolen blanket why it is there is a extra layer of air trapped between the thin blanket which acts as an insulator and doesn't allow the heat from the body to flow out so this is the example this is the practical there are so many practical examples or applications are there i just read few of them and try to explain few of them another is eskimo makes igloo out of snow because snow contains a fairly large amount of trapped air the most the most concept is it is trapping the air and air is a bad conductor of heat which acts as an insulator thus the heat generated within the igloo does not glow out flow out and hence it keeps them 
warm okay next we have next one is called convection so the phenomena i just read the definition first the phenomena due to which particle of a medium actually moves to the source of heat energy and on absorbing heat energy move away from it thereby making space for other particles to move of the source of heat energy is called convection so convection what is happening that particle of a medium actually move to the source of heat energy and on absorbing heat energy move away from it thereby making space for other particle this is called convection convection takes place in liquid and gases only that means the fluids particles are free to move about mercury is an exception because it gets heated by conduction as very good conductor of heat this is this con this exception happens only for mercury and we know that mercury is a good conductor of heat okay so this is the and this is the uh, thing and this is called convection and convection how happen it is given now i read a i just read an experiment how convection happen in case of gases okay so here is a picture is that take a rectangular wooden box whose one side is fitted with a plain glass and on the top of which are fitted with two glass chimneys this is this picture particular picture now what will light a candle and place under the chimney b this one what will happen you will see now hold the agarbatti near the mouth of the chimney what will happen that it is seen that smoke is sucked by chimney a and then it travels towards the lighter candle and finally reaches up from the b so what explanation will give for that the air in the region lighted candle becomes hot thus its volume increases and density decreases so this is the experiment through which we can conclude that convection happens in case of liquid i told also and gases these are the experiment given next we have the last one it is called radiation radiation what is radiation that transference of heat energy directly from a hot body to a cold body without hitting the space in between the two bodies is called <coughs> radiation the transference of heat energy directly from a the transference of heat energy directly from a body hot body to a cold body without hitting the space in between two bodies is called radiation direct without directly hitting the space in between two bodies is called radiation the the greatest the example is that how we are getting light and heat from sun this is one of the example of radiation and in radiation there is no medium is involved so as i said it is written as a matter of fact radiation requires no medium for example the vast space in between the earth and the sun is vacuum a space which contains no molecules of matter yet the heat of sun reaches for us this is one of the greatest example we have now black body radiation what is black body radiation black body radiation is that when radiant heat is incident on the surface of some solid materials a part of it can be absorbed while a part of it can be reflected so black body what is happening it is a it is absorbed part which is going to raise the temperature of a solid body so we can say that black bodies are good absorber of radiant heat whereas white and shiny bodies are poor absorber if we conversely if you want to say this one what will say the hot bodies are good radiators of radiant heat whereas white or shiny bodies are poor radiator of radiant heat some examples also given i just so you i'll explain you few here some examples also given what are the examples given like we wear white or light colored clothes because in summer why because white bodies are 
poor absorber and good reflector of radiant heat so less heat is transmitted to the body hence we feels comfortable then the syntex tank water tanks are painted white because why um, white bodies are good reflector and poor absorber of radiant heat so the water in tank keeps cool in summer on account of less absorption of radiant heat cooking vessels are blackened from the bottom but their surface are keeps shining because black bottom helps in the rapid absorption of radiant heat whereas the shining surface does not allow the radiant heat to escape so this is the reason as large amount of heat is trapped within the vessel and make the cooks re readily rapidly okay so these are the examples of practical life examples of radiant heat so students in this unit we have only the basic concept transmission of heat the three ways conduction convection and radiation this is a very interesting and very important chapter please go through the chapter you need very well i have i'm i am sending the uh, question answer in pdfs please go through the chapter very well if you have any doubt any query contact me thank you very much goodbye